Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our merch store. We'll have a link in the description for that. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Today is October 20th, 2023. Um, it's pretty nice out this morning. We've been getting rain, so that's nice. Um, it's getting really muddy, but I hate to complain about it because we were so dry, but it's like one extreme to the other. Um, some of you, I'm sure, have experiencing the same thing, but at least we're getting some moisture, so that's good. Uh, what we're doing this morning, we're running over to a neighbor's farm. Um, I've got a load. I have small square bales of dairy hay coming from Ray Leffingwell's bringing me up the same guy we've gotten hay from in the past. Normally, I've been getting big square bales of baleage, um, but he does small squares too, and I think that's going to work a little bit better for us. Initially, we were going to bring them, have them bring them right to our house. And we were going to put them right in the barn, but we've been getting so many rain showers on and off. We didn't really have a good gap in the rain to get that all done. So Ray's coming up this way anyway to buy hay from this neighbor. He's buying some round bales. So he's bringing my hay up. And then the neighbor, um, has got a big shed. He's got room in it. So he said it was no problem to unload the squares into that shed. And then uh, I can go get them as I need them to put them up in the hay barn so that'll work good and now these are we're not going to be bale by bale moving these every time Ray's got a bale barren so what that does is it picks up all the small squares in the field and it makes them into a basically I think they call it like a module or whatever so it basically ties them into a big square bale so you kind of move them like a big square bale so um, we're going to be using the payloader at the farm that we're going to because he's got a good spear for moving them and because uh, it takes a little bit better spear than just a just a two-prong bale spear so um, so we're going to do that anyway we're not going to bring any hay home today but we're going to get it unloaded get it in in the shed there so it'll be out of the weather and then as we have time whatever we'll get it in the barn so anyway we're going to head up there now and get that unloaded So here they are, so there's 21 bales in each bundle, three three bundles. This looks like some nice stuff too. I don't have the test on it yet, but he's gonna get me that.
Well, it's a few days later now. We're up here in the hay barn. We finally got all our hay hauled home and stuck up in the barn here that we had bought. Um, and that, that worked really well. Um, it, nice moving them things around went pretty good. And uh, turned out, I think we got, oh, I think there was just under 700 bales that we bought. And I think there was about 250 bales up here already. Um, I'd like to have a little bit more than that just for a cushion, but... Um, I think this will be plenty. This hay is going to be solely used for the milk cows because I've got other hay for the young stock and stuff outside. So that'll that'll limit down what I need to take out of here. Plus the corn silage turned out better than we figured. So I think this will wind up being plenty to get us through the winter, especially since we're still, I'm feeding round bales outside to the cows. The cows are still going out morning and night yet. And we're, you know, we're into November now, so they're still out grazing, actually. So that cuts down on winter quite a bit. But anyway, I wanted to thank everybody involved with this. I want to thank Mark for letting us be able to store this stuff in his barn until we could get it, get it over here because we were getting rain showers and stuff on and off, and that worked nice. I want to thank Warren for running the loader over there and unloading and loading. Um, thanks Ray also for Ray Leffingwell for lining me up with some good hay here because uh, we didn't make a I didn't make any second crop hay at all it was just too dry and that's normally what I like to square bale so shout out to Ray for that and I also want to give a special shout out to Matt Thomas um, a little birdie told me that he never misses a video so I want to uh, give him a big thanks for that we really appreciate that too um, so everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you in the next one. All right, well, I got it done tonight. I got my buck. He would have been an eight point buck, but he must have been fighting so bad. He's busted off his tines. And on this side, just completely busted the antler. He's a scrapper. <laughs>